Hi guys, Rose here with the cap cackling. <laughs> Cackling Moon. This is going to be a video all about the Bohemian Gothic Tarot Silver Edition. I have all of my editions out, so I'm just gonna do a quick little um, showy showy, show and tell. This is the first edition, Bohemian Gothic. This is the card backs of the first edition. They are black and white, beautiful skull card backs, right? The silver edition has the same thing. Same exact card backs. I don't think there's really much difference. Pretty much the same thing, right? The second edition is darker. So the, the instead of it white, it's more gray and black. And the second edition cardstock is way different too. It's, it's a little bit more firmer and um, matte, like more matte than the other ones. And the third edition is completely different cardstock, completely different backs. It has more of like that floral kind of looking. So I would have to say out of all of the editions, my favorite is the first. I think those these card backs, the white ones, um, are beautiful. You just can't, how can you not find that absolutely gorgeous? Like the skulls and, and everything. So, um... The silver edition, you guys. I have wanted this deck for years. Third edition Bohemian Gothic was the first one I bought. It was a discounted deck because it did not come with the box. So I had to put it in a deck bag. I actually keep it in this one. Lilo Howell gifted me these cute Halloween-y deck bags. And um, so I keep it in here. So I don't have the actual the original box for this deck. The second edition, I purchased this one off of eBay. I won it on an eBay auction. I got it for a decent price. Now, decent price meaning normal pricing for these decks. Um, I think back in the day, like in 2007, when the first edition first came out, I'm pretty sure that deck was like $20, $30. I don't know, but the third edition right now is available in their shop for 50 or 55 or something like that. So depending on your budget, it may be too expensive, it may not be, but to me, 50 bucks is, you know, that's a little up there for a tarot deck compared to like going to Barnes and Noble and spending 20 bucks and getting yourself a deck. So <laughs> you're gonna be investing your money. Now, if you are buying these cards when they're out of, out of print, like I did with the second edition, um, you're gonna be paying, paying a pretty penny. I believe I paid 100, 100 or 110. I think I, I bid it and I talked her down um, for the second edition. And it came with the box and it came with the bag. So it came with the, you know, the original box. It's a nice little sturdy box here. And it came with the deck bag. The Memento Mori deck bag, the original, like the Baba Studios one. So that was pretty cool. So that that was a that was a pretty cool find. It was fun um, to win the auction and get it at the discounted price from what the original the original price tag that she had it for. So I got it less. Like, again, you're going to be putting money down for these debt these cards if you're buying them out of print and. You know, it's that's just the thing about these de these decks. Like when they go out of print and then they they fall on e on eBay or whatever, um, you're gonna pay, you know, a hundred plus dollars for them. How bad do you want it? Is the question. So then I got the first edition. So I kind of went backwards. <laughs> I um I bought the third edition. Um, like I said, it was a discounted deck from their website, and then I got the second edition on eBay, and I spent like a hundred and hundred and ten dollars. And then the first edition, I needed to get it. I was looking for it on eBay. There wasn't anything available. I was seeing some; they would pop up, but they would be like three hundred dollars. Like that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of money. And um, I even was um in a Facebook group where they sell the decks and I was trying to talk down the girl um, for like, she was selling it for 300 and I was trying to talk her down and I'm glad I didn't do it because then again, it popped up, some person put it on eBay 
for a starting, I think it was like you could bid, but it was um, a starting price of, I believe it was 90. No, 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 I, no, 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 no. The 90 is what I paid. No, I didn't pay 90. I bid in 90, but I only, I paid less. I think it was like 70 something. They put it on, I think it was like 65. Sometimes, and I'm telling you guys, like when a deck is meant to happen for you, it'll happen. But sometimes people don't always know what they have. So, or they don't care. Like they don't want to put their deck up for like $300. So the person who was selling this first edition, um, they were putting it up as the starting bid at 65. I believe it was like 65. And so I bid it high and I bid it at, um, what was it? I think it was me and, and someone else, or I don't know. I don't remember the story because I've done so many bids. I bid it on all three of these. Um, but I want to say I paid 75 I don't know. It was so cheap. I was so impressed. I was so happy. It was one of those things where it was meant to be because, like I said, this deck was on eBay for other times for like 300 bucks, 200 something, whatever. And it was, it would come with the deck, you know, the box and the book and everything. Like it was like the box set. And I was like, oh, I don't really want the book. I mean, if I could find the book for a cool price, I would totally take it. So if any of you guys were watching and you have a Bohemian Gothic tarot guidebook, like the compendium, I want it. So if you don't want it, I want it. Let me know. Um, but um, so anyways, this deck came with the original box, which I had to tape up because it is falling apart. So I taped it. That's why it's all like super glossy. <laughs> but it came with the original box and um, it's just beautiful. It was so, it was so magical when I opened this one. I love the cardstock. I love the way it shuffles. It feels like money. That's like the one thing Baba Studio decks just feel amazing when you shuffle them. So, and the cards are were like fairly used, so they're a little bit like used at the corners, and which is fine. I love decks like that. Like I just I can't I can't get enough of it. So that's the first edition. And then, and that was in 2018 when I got this deck. And I got the second edition, I believe the beginning of 2018 or the end of 2017. And then the third edition I obtained when I was still living in the apartment, which had to have been any time between 2015 and 2016. So I, I, went, I went backwards. I went third edition all the way back to the original, like the OG, right? So... Then I knew, I knew that there was a silver edition because Leela Hal did a, a YouTube video where she like did a comparison of all of the editions. So if you see my video, if you Google it, or I'm not, not Google it, but if you put it in the search engine on YouTube, you'll probably see Leela Hal's video pop up too. And um, she has a silver edition. She actually says she obtained two of them, but she, I think she sold one and then she got another one. So I wanted a silver edition so bad and there was only 500, 500 of these decks made in the entire world. So can you imagine how much these decks are worth when they are now out of print, right? Every single time I would see a silver edition deck available on eBay, it would be four, five, six hundred dollars, right? A lot of money. Um, and then they would pop up sometimes in the Facebook group. So if you are aware of Facebook groups, sometimes you can find those like tarot deck trade groups or whatever. Every once in a while, a silver edition would pop up and it, someone would be selling it for, like I said, four five, six hundred $600. It's ridiculous. And I'm like, I ain't putting down $600 on a deck and I don't have that kind of money. And even if I did have it, I don't think I would do that. So <laughs> I remember at the end of last year um, when I was manifesting my house, which I now live in, um, I remember I was saying, you know, I really want the silver edition. I used to put like little posts up in my Instagram stories um, whenever I would see um, a silver edition pop up on eBay. And I was like just saying like, someone buy this for me. I really want this one day when it's meant to be, it'll happen. So I woke up one morning this was like a seven days ago, literally. I think it was, I think it was Saturday that I put in my order. So it was literally a week ago. I was um, making breakfast with my husband and something, and I'm telling you it's spirit, but something randomly made me feel 
I'm gonna check eBay for the Bohemian Gothic Tarot. Let's just see what's available, right? So I hadn't done that in a while because I, you know, I'm, I'm living on a budget, I'm paying mortgage now. So <laughs> I go on eBay and I do my Bohemian Gothic Tarot search, I do my Baba Studio search, see what decks pop up. Would you know, the silver edition came up and it was asking price was $330. Three hundred is a lot of money, right? But three hundred and thirty dollars was probably the cheapest I've have seen it on eBay when you compare it to six hundred bucks, okay? Because there's some um, silver editions that come like they'll they'll come with like the bag and the guidebook and all this stuff. So I've seen it like six hundred bucks. So seeing it for three thirty was like, oh my god, this is freaking cheap. So I told my husband, and it says, or best offer. So because they put the oboe, I was like, okay, I'm gonna offer something low and see if we can meet somewhere in the middle, right? So my husband was like, I told my husband, what do you think I should offer? <laughs> and he goes, well, what's the most you would pay for the deck? And I go, I don't know, 300 bucks. And so he's like, well, do you have the money? Cause that's a lot of money for a deck. Like my husband doesn't really understand it, but then he does kind of understand it. And I go, well, technically TCM, like the cackling moon is going to pay for it, you know? And then I use it as a tax write off at the end of the year because this is, I'll be working with it, you know? So I was like, yeah, I have the money. It's sitting there in my PayPal account, but do I want to spend that much money on it? So I was going back and forth. And then it's like, you guys, those of you guys who buy decks, you, you will understand that when there's like one that you really want, if it's available, if it's offered at a price that you're willing to pay or it's like cheaper than what you've seen other ones come up for, you will make that decision for yourself. So I'm sure I'm gonna get people who are gonna be hating and think, that's a lot of money for a deck, how could you do that? Well, when you figure it's 500 decks out of, you know, there's only 500 in the world, you would understand. <laughs> and you don't even know, you don't know if they're gonna come out with it again. So anyways, I put in a bid for 290 and she accepted it. She didn't even ask me to go up. She accepted it. So I bought the Bohemian Gothic Tarot Silver Edition for $290, which I know it's a lot of it's still it's a lot of money, but it's fuck it's my money. I'm going to do whatever I want with it. I work hard for my readings. So anyways, I got the deck. It came with the box and she also threw in a bag. So I have two Memento Mori deck bags. And this one is a little bit different. The back, the back of it is black. So it must have been like, this one must have come out earlier than the other one. Because this, the backing of this one is like green. And then this one's black. So a little different. What I love about their bags, look at that blood red, <laughs> that blood red material on the inside. I just love that, it's so like vampire-y. So anyways, um, it came with the deck bag and it came with the box and it's the silver edition. Now, my version, or my, my deck is number 160. So it's 160 out of 500 and it's also signed. I don't know if you could see that, there you go. So it's deck number 160 um, and it's signed by the creators. And it's fucking amazing. So <laughs> I turned on some music. I was laying in my bed. I had the music going, the mood, and I was just going through the deck. It was a magical experience. I gotta say, when I was going through the third edition, I cried. That's why I was so hooked on this deck because it had such a profound connection with me and or I with it. So. I had an amazing connection with the silver edition and it is like you were walking through a cosmic, metallic, cosmic journey. The video is not gonna do this deck justice, but I mean, just by t like tipping the card down and then back, it's like you get two separate feels of it because of the silver sheen on the cards. So just for comparison, this is, the first edition, first edition, silver edition. Can you see? You can already see the difference, right? This is the second edition. 
Second edition, silver. Can you see the difference? And then this is the third edition and the silver. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so um, just going through the cards, and I'm not gonna show you guys all of them, but like, I mean, I don't know. It, it's just beautiful. You're not gonna see it. It's not gonna show it on the camera. It won't. But some of these, like some of them, the silvery parts aren't as vibrant as like suppose like like this one is crazy. It just I gotta say, in the silver edition, it really brings out some details in the cards that I never picked up on in the other in the other decks. So a uh, stuff like that, like in the hermit, I mean sorry, the hierophant. The stuff in the background stands out more because of the silver edition. Um, and so I was noticing like here in the, in the background, there's, you know, little creatures or people there. <laughs> and um, I didn't notice that before in this deck. So you just don't see the details. You don't see the details like you do in, in the other ones. But I am absolutely in love with my silver edition. I, I think this is a freaking beautiful deck. Let's see. I'll put it close to me like this so that maybe you guys can see it. But can you see like how it moves? It's wild. It's wild the way the light will hit it. Oh my God, it's crazy. So I'm telling you, it's it brings it to life. Like literally the deck comes to life. There's the lovers. See his forehead? Like, I'm telling you, it just, oh, it they come to life. It's crazy. I don't know how else to explain it other than that. It's absolutely beautiful. No, it's not. You guys aren't going to catch it. Oh my God. I'll have to put it like the other, the other view so that you guys can see it, but I'll have to, I'll do that in an Instagram story. But yeah, you guys, this is the silver edition. And the cool thing about this deck is the Memento Mori card comes out in the second edition, but the Dance Macabre or Mac, Macabre. <laughs> comes out in this edition. Look at that. Look at that card. Oh my God. How amazing is that? Oh my God. I just like, oh my God. I can't, I just can't. So I think this one is the only one. I don't think it's in, it's definitely not in my second edition. Yeah. The second edition has the Memento Mori. It's the card that is on the back, the deck bags that I have. But yeah, I don't have the, it doesn't come out on that one. And I don't think it comes out, but maybe it does in the first edition. Let's see. And this video, I don't, it, the, this video would be too long. Oh, here it is. Okay. So the, it, it's in the first edition. So there it is. Let's do a side by side so you guys could see. Where are you? So this is the silver. This is the regular. You can kind of, I don't know, well, I don't know. I don't know if you can kind of see it. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh my God. I just can't. So, um, I don't want to get my decks all messed up. Silver. Okay. Um, so I wanted to just kind of show you guys the, the deck. I wanted to just oogle it with you because it's so beautiful. I can't believe I own it. Um, it's one of those things where I'm just so happy. Um, and I tell my clients, I tell you guys on Instagram, cause there's like, some of you guys are like, you know, I would love to own this deck or this deck. 
if it's meant to be, it'll be. And like, you know, so search, search eBay, search the, the Facebook group, search, um, you know, whatever. And sometimes people, I've heard stories of a, um, a girl that found a fantastic menagerie tarot in the thrift store for 15 or $20. That deck is going for almost 700 bucks on eBay right now. It's freaking crazy. So you never know, like if it is meant for you, you're gonna find it, you're gonna find a copy. Um, and so don't put up, don't give up hope. I'm like all like, so you could see me. Don't give up hope because you never know you never know. If it is meant to be, it will be. So just let that, put that intention out there. If it is meant for you, it will happen. But if not, then, you know, you never know. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and head out, you guys, because like I said, I'm waiting for the fridge to be delivered and I will talk to you guys soon. So leave me comments. Do you guys own the Bohemian Gothic Tarot? Luna is like over here looking out the window. She's freaking me out because it's like, what do you see? But she's probably looking at a bird. So anyways, um, it, let me know. Do you own a Bohemian Gothic Tarot? What do you think? Um... What do you think about the deck? Do you own the silver edition? What are your, what are your thoughts? Do you own the, the metallic edition of the um, Victorian Romantic? I don't know. I wish that this would have showed more um, on video, but it didn't. So I'm gonna try to put some like, pick some um, videos of it on my Instagram stories so you guys could see. But the video does not do this deck justice. Oh my God, it is so pretty. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love this deck. Okay, so I will let you guys go. Thank you for sitting through this whole 20-minute video with me. I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, loves.